This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Batman. Hooray. As if you didn't know what you were listening to. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Welcome back to We Are the Night, the Batman podcast. I am Phil. Joining me, as always, that other half of the dynamic duo, it is. Hey y'all, it's Lil Hellfire. That's right, we're back to discuss more Detective Comics issues. This time, we're discussing Detective Comics 610 and 611 from January and February 1990. This is the whole decade. That's right. Right off the, right off the heels of that triumphant Batman 1989 movie. Batman was, Batman was more popular, more popular than ever. Do you feel like Batman peaked in the 90s? Um, I say like post No Man's Land, maybe. Well, No Man's Land was like at the end of the decade, but I mean, again, like. 90s started like that era of whole, you know, bat god, and you know, he could never be defeated. He was always prepared for everything. Well, that that goes with Nightfall, but I I think he rebounded perfectly fine after Nightfall. Yeah, and it's like, did I don't know? Did he ever come back down? Because I mean, yeah, New Fifty Two hurt most characters over there, but it's like he's the most popular thing over there. Anything Batman related, selling. Supposedly, I mean, we don't know the real numbers at the end of the day. Well, I believe I'm now saying, that Diamond isn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm not because saying every so. company pushes their agenda, their own agenda. So, yeah. I mean, I believe it. I mean, I don't think the numbers are through the roof, but I think it's selling more than anything else over there. Batman, really, you know, unless you know, yeah. maybe like a Tom King something or other might be selling, but you know, yeah. Modern comics could never. That's all I have to say. True. True that. <laughs> Modern comics could never. So what are we so, talking about this week? Well, before we get to this week's, remember last time when we talked the uh, origin of Anarchy story? Would you like Excellent. to know? Yes. Would you, like, would you like to know what Ray had to think about that? Oh, yeah. Late with the feedback again, huh, Ray Ray? Just, oh. I, I tease. I tease. <laughs> That's right, everyone can't keep up with our pace but yes mr ray hey our friend mr ray host of various podcasts if you like dc you might like his uh last sunday krypton a superman hey. pod hey <laughs> i don't know he's canadian uh to know to know her is to fear her a spider woman podcast although he might have to change that soon to be the spider woman <laughs> Yes, and last two last Tuesday of every month, right here on the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks, talking everything Scarlet Spider with me and Matt Kona, the Matty Kona, and little help. I did not say sausage sausage fest. Thank you. And of course, <laughs> if you like your caped crusaders, sorry, Ray, he but on hosts, the Marvel side of things. <laughs> that's right. So not as good, uh, Cape Crusader. Uh, <laughs> Fight me, drop bear into the night. <gasps> the the, the night podcast. The night podcast. Yes. So here are Ray's thoughts. He he knows his comic. So here's Ray Ray's thoughts about the Anarchy storyline. I'm always interested to hear hear what he thinks about these Batman stories he's read for the first time. All right, Ray. Hello, Phil and Lilith. This is Ray dropping in. Some comments for Detective Comics 608, 609, 
the Anarchy kind of arc. I'm assuming this is the introduction to Anarchy. I don't know if uh, he appears later on. I certainly remember when he first came on the scene um, because one of my friends from high school was a big Batman fan. So I'm not sure if these were the issues. A friend. But it certainly feels like it as well because uh, it really has a bit of a, a bit of a 90s vibe to it. Anyway, overall, I, um, I, I really enjoyed these um, by Alan Grant. I thought the, the art by Bray Fogel, uh, R.I.P., was really, really good. Um, kind of quirky in some instances. If I'm to go to 609, I think it's when those um, the homeless uh, kind of revolutionaries, so to speak, uh, when they topple onto Batman, he has this even uh, this comical kind of pose with him uh, propped up uh, his head on one elbow kind of looking as if you know what the hell's happened and they've kind of rushed him um so that was just one thing that be unpredictable but uh it was still you know it was still quite a quite a thing to see uh, a 12 year old with a like a mannequin head on top uh and, and i brilliantly I, I love the idea how when batman tackles him you know he has that thought that he he's really light um so that kind of for me really kind of gave the game away uh but yeah this was this was really cool i, I like the um the the take that anarchy has is again a kind of like a bit of a parallel to batman but he takes things to the extreme seems to have that uh, electric baton or staff that uh, does a lot of damage to a lot of people. Uh, Johnny Vomit was pretty fun at 608. Uh, the I'm sure Alan Grant had a lot of fun coming up with the lyrics for, for the songs that Johnny Vomit sings on stage. Uh, but yeah, no, overall, um, yeah, no, Batman did did very well. Um, yeah, quite a solid, you know, fun couple of a couple of issues yeah so I, I guess i'm just wondering if anarchy does turn up again uh, i know it's pretty much closed out by the end of this but who knows uh, is there a successor is there someone that kind of takes on the the torch because he's, he does seem to be quite inspirational uh of course there is the parallels with seems to have the parallels with with guy fawkes uh just because of the aesthetics i guess um pretty cool as well pretty cool aesthetics uh, with the gold face and just the mysterious kind of cloak and hat um but now yeah, I, I i enjoyed it so i'd give this uh both up i'd give it i'd give it a, a solid b maybe nearly edging a b plus um because uh yeah it, it was an enjoyable read it didn't in any way seem to lag uh grant kept the pace going uh, and kept the story unfolding. Uh, no, it was uh, it was really good. So, uh, yeah, there's a there's another one. I think what is that? I think three from three, uh, been quite enjoyable so far um, in this journey to discover more Batman. So, uh, thank you so much for picking picking good issues, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the next ones as well. So, catch you later. Thank you, Ray. Can't tell if he's being sincere. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> Poor Ray doesn't have an insincere bone in his body. Uh, hey, well. but yeah, uh, yeah, very. It's very interesting. Like I said, to always hear what he thinks. You know, having read these for the first time. Justice for Anarchy, man. I'd love to see him in live action. Yeah, exactly. That's I mean, arrow. TV show. I was gonna say I could see him in like some, you know, like a the Batman Titans. Mm. They are coming back to Gotham for season three, I think. So completely possible. Makes sense. All right. So should we get to these issues? Let's do it. I love this cover to the first one. Detective Comics six ten. Batman and in his graveyards. Also, O'Neill, rude, rude. What? Oh, yeah. Well, they. Oh, sorry. They. They. 
what they called out his death like 30 years beforehand. Okay, sorry. <laughs> got Grant in there, got a the Guzman, and yeah. Great it's, it's cute or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And of course, here lies. Batman and graveyards go together like peanut butter and jelly. Am I right, people? <laughs> yes. But yeah, so snow and ice. Oh, part one, O to a penguin. <sighs> because it seems to open up on the penguin's funeral. Got the GCTV I, news. I was going to say the news cameras are there and even like rival criminals are there. Raphael Santini. Santini! <laughs> of course, yeah, of course, Gordon and the cops are there. <laughs> And I find this weird. The, the the news cameras pick up Batman. I'm just like, really? I mean, one, if he was going to show up in the daytime, he's not going to be seen. He's not going to make sure he's not seen. He had seen. to pay his respects. Well, no, as we see after he talks to Gordon, he has to make sure it's really the penguin and he's really dead. <laughs> I don't know if Gordon had to like keep uh, Two Face and the others from Arkham. They wanted to go. Uh, Come to the funeral. Uh, just like the penguin, though, wanting to go out as he lived in style, Batman. Yes, and smelling of fish. Burn. <laughs> I know. Burn. Yeah, so while the priest is just going just on, Batman. Build cobble pot. Look at this fancy man. He has, like, you know, instead the of cane, like a... the, the umbrella with the, the gun umbrella, really? Oh, yeah, the big statue for a headstone. But, I mean, even still, I mean, he even has, like, his name and the years written on the top of the casket, too. Like, was he going in a mausoleum? I don't know. Well, no, he's been buried, yeah, but I love the priest. That's, that's kind of reserved for mausoleums, I'm just saying. I know. But, yeah, as the priest going on Batman, just, like, starts opening the, the coffin. <laughs> Have some, give the man some dignity and death, will you? I know, even he deserves a little dignity and death. Oh, if you don't, yeah, because Batman opens it, sees it's the actually the penguin holding an umbrella, paired with an umbrella, security blanket. Then the priest, I love this one final request. He wanted to know if everyone could squawk like a bird over the grave, and everyone just turns and walks away. So, yep, they buried him. Looks like he's dead. And leave him in the care of those who perhaps were his only real friends. The birds. <laughs> Squawk. Back on the job. Yep. Yeah, Batman's talking to Gordon at the police car. Seems the penguin left money for an old-fashioned wake in the gilded cage at the Ritz, of course. Nice. Because Gordon says he's going to check it out. Because, you know, a lot of criminals are going to show up. Besides a free drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, never got anything but headaches from him. Besides a free drink. Knowing, knowing the penguin, I'd have it double checked. <laughs> yes. I'm assuming that's some, some kind of bird disease he mentions. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, I that's uh, unfamiliar to me too. P S I T T I C O S I S. I thought maybe it was poison, but no. Yeah, unfe uh, uncommon infectious disease that is most often uh, transmitted to humans through exposure to infected birds, especially parrots, cockatiels, parakeets, and similar pet birds. It affects the lungs and causes inflammatory illness of the lungs, most uh, commonly um, ending in pneumonia. Thank you, research team. We have top men <laughs> working on it. Lil Lilith's favorite con. Hey, -o. Hey -o. Um, I, I just love. I'm like, you should talk, Batman. I mean, bats, rabies. I'd rather have you know a little pneumonia yeah. that you might recover from, other than rabies. Yeah. Have you seen the needle for the rabies? If you haven't had your <laughs> freaking shots. Oh my. Guano. Yeah, bat guano for sure. 
<laughs> but look at this. This is like pre-animated series days. No grapple gun. She just like whips that line. <laughs> Who are you, Spider-Man? <laughs> ah, the whip. Flipping my way downtown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love. Uh, He's just gliding. He's just gliding. It's okay. <laughs> Tap, tap, tapping my way downtown. So yeah, he swings off, and then he's he's following this old man he saw at the funeral. Leave that ornithologist alone. <laughs> yes, old man with a bunch of stuffed birds in his apartment. An ornithologist figures penguin didn't know and knew more about any man alive about birds. No surprise he made contacts in the field. He's like, there's nothing for me there. <laughs> I know as he takes off. But he should have yeah. stayed a little longer because. Yeah, the, the dude has a secret passageway and behind there. Yeah, he's when run. you pull a book that says penguins out. Oh, my God. I know. I guess this guy supplied penguin with like his trick umbrellas and stuff because we see, see one there. He's like, he, the um, penguin is dead. However, will I survive? It's just. just 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 a wall with like umbrellas and then guns. It's just like okay, get it. Oh, good uh, lord! Jeez, Tony, this is spooky. Oh my lord! Oh, I guess I guess you couldn't handle what I was gonna say. Him whipping that bottle of booze at the wall. Did that, no, did that, that, that did alcohol hurt? abuse I will not tolerate. I gonna say, did that hurt your soul? To the bone, to the bone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but then, you know, we see two penguins goons trying to dig him up. Why? <laughs> I love Knuckles, because yeah. he's a knucklehead. Hey, oh. Well, Tony, this is spooky. Why are you worried about all those guys you killed coming back? <laughs> Looking for you? Suddenly, I mean, it is Gotham, and a resurrection does happen every now and then, so... I never killed no guys. Well, only four or five. They and they was all self defense. Well, one of them was. We have contact. Yeah, so they dig up the penguin. Remember the words he made me repeat them often enough on visit, didn't he? Oh, he looks kind of cute like that. You never know he was such a tyrant. He's <laughs> got the Napoleon complex. I know. I'll shut up while I get this over with. Okay, boss. Time to hatch out. Nothing happened. Maybe we didn't speak loudly enough. Try again. Okay, boss, time to hatch out. Hang on. Maybe if I say it too. Okay, boss, time to hatch out. Jeez, Tony, we've been double crossed. What are we going to do? The boss will kill us. Dummy, the boss can't kill anybody if he's as good as dead himself. Maybe we should just kind of put him back and fill it in. I mean, no one would know. We, we can't, can't do that. He's the boss. This is his plan. We can't just bury him and forget it. Yeah, sir. Uh -huh. Exactly. This is exactly how I'm reading it in my head. <laughs> I know. <It's> like, <laughs> pick up the penguin. What are we going to do? Only one thing we can't do, Knuckles, organize a jailbreak. Hmm. Oh, my Lord. Can you Meanwhile, imagine? Her? Batman's gliding around town. <laughs> oh, yeah. It catches, catches two young punks trashing a tele telephone booth. Yikes. Don't bother, kids. Time would do that for you. <laughs> it was like the ATMs of its day. Everybody tried to break into it with varying results of success. I know. Well, they, they don't look like they're going in it. They're just trashing the outside of it. Batman. All finished, we, boys. You're welcome. We didn't mean no harm. We were just bored. There's no internet or anything yet. We're bored, see? Get a skateboard, you freaking punks. Yeah, I know. Like, this is this is all Batman has to do <laughs> is chastise some teens for vandalism. I oh, know. Man, I, this Gotham. Was this a PSA against vandalism? We just thought, no, you didn't think. You didn't think of the people who might need that phone, people whose lives might depend on calling the police or the fire department or a doctor. We're sorry, really. I'm sure you are. Unfortunately, in the real world, sorry just isn't good enough. Just isn't enough. You might think life on the street is boring. Wait till you taste juvenile hall. Three hats and a cat. Meanwhile, at uh, Gotham Penitentiary, <laughs> this is sixty-six Batman. <laughs> Gotham Penitentiary. <laughs> Do your pitting, see? Oh my lord, we see Scarface and his guys like playing poker. Talk about your poker face. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody tell Rob. <laughs> pop, 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 poker face. I passed on the message, just like you said, Scarface. <laughs> uh, I love Rhino. I don't know what to do. Tommy, let me see. There you go. Raise, raise us 10 and throw your hand in. So, of course, Scarface wins. They're playing for matches. Yeah, don't forget, each of these represents a week's tobacco allowance. That's six years you owe me now. And Rhino owns 15 years. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, dummy's good. Yeah. How can that dummy be going through all those cigars? He doesn't inhale. It's the 90s, man. Scarface, Clinton, none of them are inhaling. Well, in Clinton's case, that was for a different thing. So. But they're in, they're in prison now, so maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> hey, well. Google it if you don't understand, kids. Bill Clinton cigar. Just, just, just Google it, kids. <laughs> oh my lord! Can you imagine, like? Ray's not from this country. If he didn't hear that, and Ray just like goes and Google's that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, Ray. Clear your browser. <laughs> anyway, then a helicopter shows up. Rhino, hey boss, maybe it's Santini's boys. Shut up, you gig idiot. Santini. Oh, uh, something's going on with Santini. Yes, but you see, it's the penguins guys. They hijacked the helicopter. He says, get to the chopper. He tells them if they turn back, the pilot's like, I'll forget what it happened. <laughs> Let us worry about it. You just shut up and drive. So why are they here? They are here to spring Mortimer Cadaver. Oh, Lord. He, he worships death, but not in the cool Thanos way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so they break him out of jail. Oh, my Lord. He had his own little tombstone in his cell. In candles? They let you keep candles in your cell? They're hoping they burn burn to death. Just burn the whole prison down. They're, they're not the best, uh, you know, officers, prison officers in the uh, Gotham area. It's Gotham. Whatever keeps them quiet and shuts them up. <laughs> Basically. Uh... So yeah, the guards are trying to shoot down the shoot the copter down, but oh lord, cadaver because cadaver is dangling off this uh, rope ladder, he knocks one of the guards off. I'm assuming to his death. <laughs> uh oh, but then at the Ritz, Batman shows up there. <laughs> He's just the Kool Aid Man. He's breaking in everywhere. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Talking to Gordon Ken. I was in the neighborhood. I don't I still don't like this. The penguin was too greedy to ever give anything away for free when he was alive. Why would death change him? Mm. So yeah, so this, <laughs> so this guy in the sunglasses, man, running the show. Thank you. As all of you know, Oswald C. Cobblepot was anything but an honest man. He was, in fact, a robber and a crook and he, who would stoop to any length in order to get his hands on what he desired. <laughs> That's Santini. I'll drink to that. <laughs> mm, most of you had good reasons. I love that excellent page, though, of Batman standing on the building with all the gargoyles. Oh, at the I end. still yeah. don't like it. <laughs> That's right. Because supposedly this whole thing, <laughs> after he... The Penguin Fund, after they pull out a bunch of fans and blow some ice and snow around. The Iceberg Lounge, see? We're born again. Oh, man. So, yeah, the cops try and fail to shoot the uh, cadaver off that helicopter. But then, yeah, the, the guys pull him in and uh, they're like, it, your code word didn't work. Surprise, sucker. He's like, of course I gave you the wrong phrase. And the Penguin never would have freed me if I, you know. I'd give me in the right one. Exactly. So he says, Tony says, I'll, you know, threatens him with the gun. And he's like, you'll be footloose. All right, pinhead. Pin brain. He'll be taking an air walk. Threaten him with the edge of the helicopter. Ah, I'm sorely tempted. 
burnt flesh, shattered bone, burst flesh, shattered bone. Jeez. Uh, but cadaver says, you know, now we're not going to go along until you give me the gun. You're choking. Suit yourself, but you might as well bury him again without the correct trigger phrase to break his hypnotic state. He'll be like that. For <laughs> Who is he, Batman? This time he won't have to bribe a funeral direct. Wow. And, and Knuckles, ever ever the uh, brains of the operation. Give it to him, Tony. It'll be okay. If he tries anything, I'll shoot the pilot and we'll all go down. <laughs> Love Tony so great. So yeah, see so hands cadaver the gun, and then we don't see what he says, but cadaver whispers in Penguin's ear. Nothing happened. Give him a moment. But yep, Penguin wakes up. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so yeah, so back at the Ritz, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to the Penguin Fund. <laughs> Oh my lord, Santini's are like. Or you could uh, give us four billion dollars to save DC. You know, if we're giving money out. That's right. I don't care who you are. Yeah, give us money. Uh, I love Santini. I don't don't know about keeping no birds alive, but I'm sure worth it to know that fat little creep won't be bothering us no more. <laughs> Dang. Even Gordon gives ten dollars. <laughs> And then, Mr. Santini, 5000 is a lot of dough to throw away on stupid birds. <laughs> so I, peak. I can afford it. After all, if Scarface keeps up his end this time tomorrow, I'm going to be the richest man in Gotham. Hmm. What's going on here? <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. It ends with Batman swinging away, thinking, all right, I'm not surprised. He wanted to help birds. He always showed more love, feeling for them than he ever did for his fellow humans. Humans. He's that last page with uh, Batman, like Lil said, hanging on the roof of the yeah. gargoyles. Man, that gargoyle, that one he's that one he's on top of, kind of has like a Joker face, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> but he's like, I still don't like it. There's something I can't quite tie up, but I can't figure out what. Snow, ice, and a penguin? What does it mean? What does it mean? Who could it be? <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, this one has it's the pacing is like kind of like the anarchy one, you know, kind of like set up, you know, the whole situation in the first issue, and then it's like Batman solving it, and then the second it's one. like a good old Spider Man uh, team up book. <laughs> Although a lot of them are one and done, but yeah, again, I miss you know, old people that we are. I miss like the one and done's and the two and done's. The setup. And the punch. That's right. Speaking of which, that cover. Oh, the, the next second, issue. The second one, yeah. yeah. Great get, cover. Get the get the reflection of Batman getting shot by the penguin in his monocle. You know you're for trouble when you see a guy with a monocle. That's all I'm saying. Looking okay. at you, rich Uncle Money penny bags from Monopoly. Seriously, like all the guys with monocles in comics are evil. It's like Penguin, Baron Strucker. They're all like evil. I think I think we need a new status quo for the monocle. I think it's a good look that we could bring back, but it can't just be for the rich old evil guys, you know? You know who I think could pull off a monocle? Charlie Esser. Oh, absolutely. With that stash, screaming for a monocle. Screaming for it. Oh, we have to mention that to him later today. Yeah, yeah. I might have to return his Christmas present and get him a monocle. <laughs> We're doing me now. Heck yeah. All right. So part two from Detective 611. February 1990. Ice and Snow. Part two, Bird of Ill Omen. Okay. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Yes. But we see, yeah, back to the helicopter. Penguin's like, partners, are you insane, cadaver? The world thinks I'm dead. The richest spoils in Gotham will wait me. Do you want to cut yourself in for the slice of the action? You must learn the penguin flies ever alone. Oh, forever alone. Poor guy. Aww. 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 <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cadaver, we had a deal. I break you out of jail, and then you do the same for me. What's the problem? Here we are. And Penguin disarms him with his umbrella 
and then he has him He's taking back. umbrage with his umbrella. <laughs> Sorry, Kona. No, it's not a second Kona. That's a oh, I thought it was. I failed. I failed. <laughs> oh, you failed. Okay. Suck uh, it, Miller. There we go. But yeah, penguins are back in the cadaver to the door. He's like, if you just step outside and plummet helplessly to your very messy death. The cadaver gets off that trigger phrase, which we still don't know, and Penguin passes back out. Sweet dreams, sucker. <laughs> Who is this, Little Hellfire? I know, man. I was going to say, that's the Little Hellfire uh, dialogue there. Give that's me that's Cosby. <laughs> he's, heck, he's in a coma again. A trance, Tony, a death-like trance. What did you say? Merely a post-hypnotic suggest, a post-hypnotic command for those of you who didn't read the first issue. I programmed it in the, into it during our practice sessions in jail. I don't want to know if they're practicing in jail. Yeah, I don't want to know what they're practicing in jail. Uh, it's in his prison purse. Uh, as a, <laughs> nothing to worry about as long as you don't mind working for a vegetable. Well, people do work for Bane. <laughs> <laughs> No. Burn. <laughs> Burn. Uh, you think darkness is my ally? Enough. <laughs> no more nightfall. I'm traumatized. Nineties trauma. So yeah, so the pilot's like, well, guys, where do you want to go? We're running low on fuel. So what do we do, Tony? I don't know. Penguins won't plan. Cadaver, you'll better bring him around. Or what, you'll threaten me again with death? Psst. Death by threat. I laugh in the face of death. No. Oh. Still, first things through. So he says he's going to bring the penguin back around. He should see things more my way this time. And then we see the ornithologist again. Can't trust the ornithologist. That's what Batman has taught me. Yes, and the news says, oh... About the gang hijacking the helicopter, the pilot was shot was shot dead. Pilot Bub Van Bub Vince. <laughs> but yeah, it's all over the news. Cadaver escaped. Cadaver who who is stated to have a death fetish. <laughs> it's highly. Yikes. Yeah. And it's talking about the penguin fund. About you know one one criminal is actually doing some good even in death. <laughs> The deceased Oswald Conwell Potts Antarctic Reserve Penguin Fund has really caught the city's imagination. Two hours before it opens, and already long lines of donors are forming outside Gotham's first banks. They'll be open till late tonight to accept your cash. <gasps> hmm. So the banks What's are gonna be going on? the banks are gonna be filling with cash. Hmm. And then there's a charity bunch, charity brunch at the Ritz Hotel. The world's greatest diamond show. Gems with an insurance value of more than fifty million dollars will be on public view. Even with the penguin off the scene, security is ultra tight. Yeah, it's Gotham. Oh, see, Lilith, you were all like, "Oh, why is Batman wasting his time on these those two teenagers?" Police have announced that two youths apprehended by the mysterious Batman last night were in possession of small amounts of the new cocaine derivative, Super Crack. Uh, so see two dangerous drug dealers off two dangerous drug addicts off the streets off. oh lord police estimate that shipments of cocaine to Gotham are now running at an all time high and appeal to the public for any information so banks filling with money a diamond show and high amounts of cocaine flooding into Gotham hmm I wonder if it could all be tied together. Uh, then we see Batman driving home. <laughs> mm, penguins, he's like thinking, oh, the penguin's dead. He saw his body. There's something about the whole fair that doesn't add up. But now cadavers on the loose, too. Perhaps by tonight, things will seem clear. But somehow, I doubt it. And 
then we are back with the ornithologist. <laughs> I guess we just sits. <laughs> I don't know if it's a new thing or if he's always been like this, but I guess he just sits his life uh, watching TV. Worst ways. Worst ways to spend time. Wait, who is he? Bang? I mean, well, you're done with the glitz and glamour and dirt of Gotham. What else is there to do? Yes. But yes, love Hellfire. So, yeah, the banks are filling with money. There's a diamond show and Vast amounts of cocaine are flooding Gotham. Think it's all connected? No, get out of town. Shut the front door. It's super connected. <laughs> Wait a minute. But yeah, the ornithologist gets a visit from the penguin. Gotten him or. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You know he's evil. Oh, yeah. Otto. Oh, his name's Otto. Otto. Exactly. You disappoint me. Here I am only dead a day and already you're reverting the type. Well, I'll bet you have the swastikas all ready to stick upon the wall. Jeez. He's it's like, oh my god, you're dead. I was at the funeral. Oh my lord, look at Cadaver. Such a fancy man. He's wearing a cape. <laughs> look at Cadaver. You're an old one. Not much longer before the Crim Reather scythes you down. Here, sir, I can assist you. He's choking. <laughs> Here, let me help and make it quicker. Jeez. Ah. Choke that chicken! <laughs> Yikes. The penguin's like, enough. Bad enough I should have to work with you without you having you throttle my most important employee. Throttle, you say? I'm about to make a phenomenal sum of money. But first, we need access to a few of your little toys. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What's, what's going on here? This is total subtext. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Exactly. But yeah, they, they're going through that door in the bookcase. And uh, yeah, Knuckles is like, pulls his gun. I can plug that weirdo right now. The boss will be in my dead forever. And Tony's like, don't put it away, you idiot. If you mess up and cadaver shouts his magic words, we can kiss the boss goodbye. Leave it to Penguin. If I know him, he'll have his own plans. Oh, Lord. It's just asking for trouble. A diamond show in Gotham. Right? Like, they must They must have insurance. They must. Surely they must. Yeah. They must. Maybe it's an insurance scam. Oh, look, kids. You can help Batman fight bicycle theft. <laughs> you, can, you can get your own official Batman secret code bike alarm. And, oh, Sonic, and Sonic Weapon Center. For when Don't you want believe to, it, kids. Don't believe say, it. For when you want to protect your bike and fight evil symbiotes. <laughs> mm, so, yeah. Oh, Bruce Wayne is at the show. Of course he is. This guy showing him this big diamond. The Walker Stone. Story goes that in 1900, a psychopathic South African killed 18 men in a mine cave in so he could get his hands on it. <laughs> Is it beautiful, isn't it? I suppose. I just can't help thinking, though. Really, it's just another shiny stone. It hardly seems worth the price of a life. <laughs> Too rich already. That's your trouble, Wayne. <laughs> Come on. Brunch is about to start. Hmm. No stone is worth even one life, but there are too many out there who think like the penguin. Security seems tight enough, never, but it, it won't do any harm to come back later, just in case. At night, get it? <laughs> and meanwhile, while, he, while he's keeping an eye on the Ritz, oh, look, I see a delivery truck delivering something to Santini. You got the cash, Antini. You got the good butch. <laughs> Yikes. So while they're making their deal, oh, look, something comes swooping in. Here I come to save the day. A mechanical bird with like two propellers on it. <laughs> Blast it out of the air. So do they, do they hit it or does it just blow up itself? Because it just blows up. Wonder what happens to the Batman, though. <laughs> Well, ba well, Batman sees the explosion from where he's perched. Mm, 
neat work, <laughs> cadaver. Neat work, penguin. Your friend Otto knows this business. If I might make a small suggestion, razor shards in your next model, more visual. So long, partner. That's all. Oh, you didn't say bunky. See you later, bunky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? When it blew up? Yeah. See you later, bunky. <laughs> Five million, all that dope, and half of it mine. Penguin's like, stop going. We're on a tight schedule. You leave that other car where I told you, Tony. The the best page, page 20. Shouldn't you be dead? I love that page, yes. <laughs> but yeah, Batman swings in too late after they leave. Raph Santini and his goons don't recognize the other cocaine. Must have been a deal going down. I wonder if he double crossed too. Mm, I love the cop show. Batman, you sure made short work of these guys. <laughs> Not guilty this time. This time, exactly. <laughs> and the cadaver, you're a clever man, Penguin. Not so clever. You can pull one over on me. You can never let me out of earshot. Always have to watch your back. True, but the profit's worth it. This will all be over soon. We'll go our separate ways. The richer for having met. Pity it was you. I, I don't think that's true at all. I know. So, yeah. He's like, pity had to be you who overheard Scarface's plans. It would have saved us a lot of hassle. But you couldn't have escaped without my deep hypnosis. So it's only fair I get my share. Mm, I could call it quits now. There's no no point being too greedy. It's not a question of greed. A, a perfect crime is a work of art. True. Another rogue. Another rogue. I think of beauty and enjoy the paraphrase the part. So first we got the snow... Now we get the ice. Ha ha! But no fire. I think. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, they crash into the Ritz and gun down the guards. Tony Knuckles, unload the car and take the stuff out the back way. There's no saying exactly when Batman will figure out the clue I left him at the wake last night. Just, I'm telling you, people just love it, man. They just can't help themselves. They're I all... wouldn't leave Batman no clue, no nothing. Nope. Leave him a fake clue. <laughs> Don't even leave him a fake clue! <laughs> no, well, something points him in the opposite direction. Something. Because he'll, he'll go, wait a minute. They know that I know that we know that they know that I know. See, no, no, no. You can't leave Batman nothing. Or leave him 20 clues that point in 20 different directions. Exactly. There you go. He'll just send his Robins out to do that, though. So. <laughs> Where's the thrill in committing the perfect crime if no one knows it was you? Um, getting away with it and not being an Arkham or Gotham Penitentiary? Hello? Just True. me? Just me? You're right. Make a beautiful bed of roses, bro. Don't don't ever confirm or deny. What are you doing? So back at the scene of the uh drug deal, we have two dead, two critical, the other should be okay. Back. You know, just another night in Gotham. Exactly. But then Batman hears the uh, police radio about the robbery at the Ritz. So he takes the quick way back by jumping on a police car, the roof of a police car. As you do. Exactly. I heard it's an excellent way to get around Gotham. <laughs> they just keep shouting, we have hostages. We have hostages. They keep back or they die. But Batman charges in. Batman, no, there's innocent people in there. I sure doubt, there are. I doubt it. It's Gotham. <laughs> But then he moves in and it's just a recording. Is that a cassette player? <laughs> yes, sir. I believe it is. Oh, my. And then look, everything. Should have been on a record player, but that's just me. Batman is literally. Oh, they might have chanced it skipping, though, so. True. But look, Batman is literally seeing red. <laughs> He's pissed! <laughs> <That's not even. laughs> Leaving all these dead bodies, leaving all these bodies in their way. Um, uh, at the Ritz, four guards, at least four guards down. The perps are gone, and 50 million bucks worth of ice with them. <laughs> Batman, ice and snow, huh? So ice, diamonds, and snow, cocaine. Cocaine, you... say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh my, where are you going, Batman? They must have gone out the back. Doesn't matter, I know where they're headed next. The, uh -oh. first, the first Gotham Bank, yeah. Well, Tony and Knuckles have everyone at gunpoint, yeah. 
Penguin and Cadaver cleaning out the cash. Absolute freaking idiot. There's a fortune here. I knew we could rely on the good people of Gotham. So I think goes in the goes in a door. Keep an eye on the hallway back then, Jeff. Penguin, are you crazy? Where are you going? Cadaver sees him go in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Oh my. And again, if this was a modern comic, Batman would have had to go back to the cemetery to check the grave. But even here, he's just like swinging through. I don't need to check the cemetery. It has to be the penguin. <laughs> The wake last night was the clue. His monumental ego forced him to leave me. Snow exactly. and the penguin. So, yeah. So, I love cadaver. This is absurd. The police will be here any minute. I thought you'd appreciate it, cadaver. You know, the friction of fear, the exciting uncertainty. Not knowing if we'd be free and fabulous, fabulous, fabulously rich or down for the count. As he points his umbrella at cadaver. <laughs> Go back in your trance now. Penguin, sorry, I can't hear you. I have something in my ear because he stuck toilet paper in his ear. Uh, okay. Must have been Charmin. Extra thick. <laughs> this podcast is not sponsored by Charmin, but if it would like to sponsor us, we welcome our corporate overlords. Exactly. I'm sure the toilet paper uh, stock has gone up this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh... No, please, I really don't want to die. Not like this. So long, partner. Penguin shoots him. Oh, my lord. And then he's going out the fire escape. <laughs> look, at those, look at those knobby little body parts moving. Oh, my God. I know. He's leaving his guys. He's leaving everybody, man. He's just, just walking out with his... I love this depiction of the art style for Penguin, by the way. Exactly. Very uh, Batman 66. Love it, love it, love it. Exactly. Yeah, just going down the fire escape with all his sacks of money. You hit him right in the face with that sack. The only sack I'm willing to be hit in the face with is full of money. <laughs> Ew. So, yeah, so the cops have the front covered, but Penguin just thinks he's going to sneak out the back. But like you said, yeah, this is my favorite page. Just whistling and he gets to the car. Hi. Shouldn't you be dead? <laughs> Batman comes swooping down. My nocturnal nemesis. As astute as ever, my nocturnal nemesis. <laughs> so we meet again. Although I totally planned this and knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Tonight is the night of the. Pool. He got a hey. He got a um trash can lid right in the butt. <laughs> I know. It's only right that the choices keeper of my criminal career should culminate in the death of my deadliest foe. Wow, that's like some Bendis dialogue. I'm just saying. Oh, burn. <laughs> I don't mean, I know it's not a burn. Like, it suits Penguin. Maybe Bendis should write Bendis, Penguin. Bendis. Maybe. Did we um, just solve the case? Oh, my Lord. Like <laughs> Give a, him a Penguin book? Oh, my God. We just got a 12 issue Penguin miniseries. Thanks, Lil. I'd be down for that, to be honest. I, I mean, mean, although we know, secretly, we know it will only need to be six, but it would be 12. But I'm okay with that. I feel like. I Bendis' style might suit the penguin. And we do need a reinvention of penguin in this modern times. Since Gotham said Dutch did such a great job with it, they never did follow up with it in the comic books. I'm just saying. Yeah, reinvent it more like the guy we're getting in here, not like the iceberg lounge guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so he's opening fire on Batman. No way I can keep dodge no way I can keep dodging Batman things. So he, as he goes all Captain America and hits him with that uh garbage can light. I love the arc. <laughs> and Batman follows it up with a nice right cross. <laughs> Thank you, Hoods. I have something here for you. And he throws the penguin to them. Boss. Don't shoot. We Don't surrender. shoot. We surrender. They surrender to the cops. I know. Cadaver's still in there. I uh, I think someone shot him. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one of the three. You dummy. <laughs> He shot himself, and that's my story. Uh, I love this cop. Wonder what happened to the Batman. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I enjoy this interpretation of the penguin. I could have done without Cadaver, but he was a MacGuffin, so you know you have to deal with that. 
I mean, they did use him. I think he showed up in another Alan Grant story. But uh, yeah, he was a, Alan fun. Grant trying to get that shackle. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I, I miss issues like this, and we, I mean, you even get like Denny O'Neill's columns in the in these letters pages and stuff. And yeah, remember when editors cared? I do. No, they care. It's just, um, uh, well, some do as much as they can for yeah. what they get paid. <laughs> it's not for the love of the game anymore. It's for the love of that mortgage payment. <laughs> Well, the business has changed too. Again, it's you know, look at the letters. It's shifted for sure. It was like, oh, uh, you know, it was all snail mail then. It was like, oh, hey, remember that issue like three, four months ago? I love that issue. Now it's like, hey, remember that issue that came on out on Twitter? Remember that issue that just came out ten minutes ago? You suck. Or just email. It's just like, yeah, remember that? Remember that no, book? Twitter's the worst. Like, yeah, it's just getting called out publicly, and you can't really respond how you want to. Oh, good lord. Solid B-plus story. Yeah. Because, yes. come on, it's Penguin. Nice Beta, I mean, he, he could have been really literally right up there with the Joker, but they just kind of, like, fell off telling Penguin stories. I feel like Penguin's more of, like, a vestige of his, like, pulpy 1930s past, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Which was why I probably enjoy him so much um, when done right, and this is definitely an issue where he is done right. I mean, it, it's kind of like shined up and, you know, and modernized for the 90s. But it's like, if this could almost have been a Batman 66. Absolutely. You know, Peng Penguin, you know, hypnotize, gets hypnotized. To it, come on, hypnotizing. That's totally Batman 66's shtick, baby. It is. <laughs> Except for, like, the deaths. It could have been, like, a 66. It, <laughs> you know, it is. Whole and, you know, honestly. Um, my second favorite Batman animated series, The Brave and the Bold, definitely is within that Batman 66 vein, so it can be done for a modern audience and succeed. Outrageous! <laughs> and, just, and just the diamonds and, you know. Yeah, just a heist. Like, you know. Tricking people to like flood the banks with money and then robbing the bank. Yeah, that's it. It's great. It's 66 to me. Oh my god, how awesome would that have been if you would have seen Adam West clock somebody with a garbage can lid? I think it was too close to Captain America. They couldn't do it. But. It's time to, take out, <laughs> time to take out the trash, Robin. Speaking of trash, we got any... Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ooh. Ooh. I'm kidding. I kid because I love... Uh, Southern Hemisphere. That's at Lil Hellfire. <laughs> What the heck? No, yeah, like I said, no feedback from Ray. Maybe next time in two weeks when we do our final episode for 2020, maybe we'll have feedback for this one. Wouldn't it be great if we had a hefty sponsorship right there, and that would have been a great segue? Oh, <laughs> come on, Rob, step your game up on our advertisers. <laughs> hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> you calling out Rob. Who are you? Charlie Esser? I'm that kind of freak. <laughs> he doesn't listen to this. This is Batman. We're safe. <laughs> uh, you know, that's true. It's DC. There's no way Rob's listening to this. Why did your eye drift over to my box? If it was Constantine, he might be listening, but this is Batman, so I doubt it. <laughs> Boy, when I talked to him on Wednesday, man, he had nothing but nice things to say about you, too. <laughs> uh, stabbed you in the back, Rob. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think I... What'd you give this? A B? B plus? B plus. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Again, classic storyline. You know, could have fit 90s comics. Could have been a 66. Just... I lean into the pulp with Batman. I just, I feel like he's just fading into the background with everybody else. Like Spawn, various, modern Spawn is very reminiscent of Batman. Uh, so many other like characters are kind of like Batman now. You got to give him another edge. And I think if we return to his pulpy roots, I really do think that that would reinvigorate the fan base. Do you think he should carry Make him smart. Make it like more grounded. Yes. We need lots more detective stories. Uh, do you think you should? You care? know, maybe not. 
be surrounded by his bat family so much. I really feel like that's a detriment to everybody involved, both, you know, Nightwing and Batgirl and Damien at this point. Like, just let everybody grow up and drift and drift away, you know, for a little bit at least. Because or- look, like, Nick, Nightwing couldn't even make a make his first return to the uniform, his, you know, his his uniform without it being in the Batman book instead of his actual own book. And I, I just things like that. Burn. Burn. I know. I, I, or again, just like keep one book for, uh, you know, if the main and Batman yeah. shows up and then detective, just have Bat solo Batman. Yeah. The detective. I, I think that's what I miss most of all. He's like, you know. Yeah. He is the knight, <laughs> you know. Like, let him be the knight by himself. Because <laughs> that was the other thing. Yeah, now this was uh, around that first movie, so they wanted Batman to be a loner, so Jason was dead, him wasn't around yet, and, you know. Th- and th- honestly, that's some of my some of my favorite storytelling, because oh, he's yeah. also still, like, grappling with that whole Jason thing, and you can kind of see it in his, his brutality is definitely amped up. Oh, yeah. In a lot of the stories. Oh, yeah. So. You got the, like, oh, yeah, especially in the Batman book at this time, yeah. He was, you know. Yeah. Like, remember when stories had consequences and repercussions that, like, weave throughout, like, more than three issues? Oh, yeah. Modern even... comics can never, guys! <laughs> Hate to break it to you, kiddos. You missed out. Go find some back issues at your local comic book store. There you go, kids. Yeah, use the hashtag. Tag us. Yeah. What's your, what's your best modern comics could never? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um... So a lot of comic book writers now have like podcasts and they're they're tweeting and um throwing shade at each other and I'm just here for it, bitch. <laughs> I feel called out right now. <laughs> um, I just wanna oh uh, yeah. Like I cannot wait to talk on um capes today. Oh yeah. Because Charlie brought up Marvel uh the Marvel six one six, but he didn't bring up the episode that everybody's actually been talking about, which is the Dan Slot one. So if you're interested. And I don't know if he saw it or not, but oh I might oh my lord, I might have to just to trash it. I might have to watch it at some point. <laughs> but you know the controversy I'm talking about, right? With Dan Slot. I don't know if I do. Oh well, you have Disney Plus, right? Yes, 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 yes. Just go ahead. I think it's episode six of Marvel 616. Okay. Just, like, just get a snippet of it and you'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. This should be interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, but on that note, let's give it to our, uh, let's give it to them and let them know what, wow. <laughs> let's let the listeners know what we're uh, going to be talking about next episode. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a clean drop. I hope that wasn't a clean drop. Uh-huh. The one time the dog doesn't effing bark. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So. Next time for the final episode of uh 2020, uh of We Are the Knights. The Batman Podcast. The Batman Podcast. That is right. We are uh covering Batman 450 and 451. Um don't have it in front of me, but it's within this maybe like a year or so after this. Uh, yeah, so we will uh, focus on a little-known rogue of the Batman. <laughs> you guys have probably never heard what of him. What happened to him? I don't know. <laughs> never hear about this guy anymore. <laughs> That's right, kids. It's Joker time next week. Next, in two weeks. And, well, next week will be our final episode of uh, we'll uh, of Legends of the Arrowverse for 2020. Uh, yeah, I believe it's that one. This, the yeah, Superman wedding album. Ah, what a what a note to end on before the show starts, right? All yeah, right. <laughs> hey, we'll get there. All right. I'm trying to give it a chance. I'm trying to be nice. I know. So, Ray has let us down. Do not let us down. Just <laughs> Email us capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. CAPES! CAPES! As the Cape Crusader. Uh, remember to follow We Are The Night. Well, uh, you can follow it on Facebook as Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks. Uh, Batman Podcast. Exactly. <laughs> Again. Facebook! 
again, they won't let me publish. Fight me, Mark Zuckerberg. They won't let me publish the old page, but they won't let me delete it. I'm like, come on. Either let it go or let me let it go. <laughs> okay, Elsa. <laughs> let it go. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so follow us on that on Twitter. Uh, I can find links to all of our shows, our YouTube, everything, everything Capes and Lunatics at linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support our sponsors, Tweaked Audio. You'll think Get yourself in, some headphones. You'll think you're in a hypnotic trance with some Tweaked Audio headphones. A good nice. one. Yes. And remember, be like the Batman and hunt a killer. Michelle Gray needs our help, guys, so let's stay in the house with our family and play in an escape room in a box. Will of Hellfire was right. <laughs> That's right. So and get those. Use the code Southgate for a discount on both of those. And then go pick up Hunt a Killer, Volume 1, now in digital and paperback, audio version coming soon. Learn the ins and outs of podcasting from the experts. And Rob Southgate. Oh, <laughs> uh, I stole your line. I'm sorry. <laughs> I stepped all over your line, Phil. <laughs> what did you say? So, yeah. Rob's the best in the biz. And you guys can suck it if you don't agree. You can fight me over that one. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, pick that up. And you can get that on Amazon. Plus, you know you're going to be doing holiday shopping, especially this year on Amazon. So, when you do, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show. So, this podcast network this this uh <laughs> yes this podcast network and lilith's new favorite target rob master doom Falcon. make it rain only on the dc uh, podcast so it says master doom. oh she gets those lips right on that button on the marvel podcast <laughs> yeah please kick me in the pants a little hellfire um, if you nerds want to follow me on Twitter because new shows are coming, um, especially DC TV, um, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram with the cool kids and the hip grandparents at Lilith Hellfire 86 for smoothies, keto, and puppies. And for the memes, of course, at Lilith Hellfire 69, both on Instagram and TikTok. I'm 12 when you need me to be 12. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Cut me, bro. Uh, many faces of little hellfire. All right, everyone. Again, thank you for joining us. Come back in two weeks for Batman 450 and 451. Again, a villain no one's ever heard of. Get your purple and green suits out, kids. That's right, some nice early nineties Joker man. His reappearance, his first, his first little appearance after Death of the Family should be interesting. I believe it's a Marv Wolfman written issue too. So yes, pick it up. Send your thoughts. Send us your thoughts. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Talk right to you, tricky dicky. Alright, everyone. So remember, join us next time. Same that time. Same that channel. We are the night. Squawk! <laughs>